Hi guys, Hamster here. I would like to say thank you to those guys that are uh, watching my videos. I appreciate it. And um, I'll try not to waste your time. I know your time is valuable. I appreciate you watching. And uh, I'll try to keep things as short as possible. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> Tonight I'd like to talk to you about support equipment and why I think you should have it and why I think it's important. First of all, what is support equipment? Well, support equipment is not accessories. It is not a flashlight, it's not a vertical grip, it's not an optic. These are things you basically we could be accessories, things you need to set a weapon up to do a specific task. These are basically what I would classify as accessories. Um, what I'm talking about is support. Things that keep a weapon running. <clears throat> and why is that important? Um, I think it's important because if you ever have a situation where you need to use your firearm, there is going to be no support network for you other than one you provide yourself. And what do I mean by support networks? Support network can be something as simple as this, as a, as a bandolier for a shotgun. Something that supports that weapon and keeps that weapon in the fight. A bandolier is a simple example of a support device. Um, chest rigs, magazine, carriers, tactical vest, um, bandoliers, all examples of support equipment. Um, also support equipment I think could be considered to be a holster, um, a sling, something that keeps that weapon going and functioning. And uh, it also, that would be ammunition, spare magazines, and uh, anything your weapon needs to keep functioning. In, in the case of this particular weapon, we have a flashlight and we have a battery powered optic. So, support gear would not only consist of ammunition, magazines, a way to transport those, carry those, it would consist of uh, batteries. You know, if your weapon requires batteries, especially if you're optic, you need to be able to carry spare batteries. And if they require any tools to change those batteries, you need those devices with you. Any gear that supports that weapon. If your particular weapon requires a lot of lubrication, that might be a small bottle of lubricating oil. Um, your spare batteries, your magazines, your ammunition. Anything you need to keep that weapon in the fight. Not only does your weapon need support, I think the operator needs support. <clears throat> so whatever you need to keep in the fight as long and the weapon because the weapon without you is useless and you without your weapon are useless so what support gear do I need I'm talking hydration packs um, maybe small pouches um, let's say you wear glasses and you really need your glasses to see so along with carrying spare magazines maybe hydration pack maybe a, a backup pair of glasses would be something you would need but anything that without that item takes you or your weapon out of the fight. You gotta concentrate on both you and the weapon as a system. A lot of guys talk about support for the weapon, but you are just as important as the weapon. If you can't see, you're dehydrated, let's say uh, you have asthma. Should you be carrying an inhaler? I think so. Anything that could take you out, not all, you know, could take out your weapon or take out you, you need to have. And I'm not going to endorse any particular brand of gear tonight. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Um, this is an example of just a, a few a few things that I have. Different pouches, different devices that, I, that I'm using and trying out. Not only is it important to have items like this, it's important to train with them and practice with them. I know people are going to look at you like you're crazy. I Trust me, I, I already know what that feels like. But until you try it, you don't actually know if it works. And until you practice with it and develop that muscle memory, you're not going to be able to use it effectively. Um, that brings me down to uh, okay, what kind of, what kind of um, support equipment should I have? That's going to depend on each individual person. What kind of weapon you have, what it is you need. Do you need spare glasses? Do I need uh, allergy medicine? Do I need you know, an inhaler? 
you know, do I need magazines? Do I need, you know, am I carrying shotgun shells? You gotta figure out, figure out exactly what it is you need to keep you and your weapon functioning. Make a list of those items, then find a piece of gear that will work with that. Just don't go out buying gear because you'll spend a fortune on gear. Make a list of exactly what it is your weapon needs and you need. Maybe, you know, you know, your blood sugar gets low after a few hours if you don't eat regularly. So maybe your weapon system would, would consist of a canteen, and, you know, or hydration pack, and maybe a pouch full of any energy bars. Just say you were out defending a, your neighborhood or a certain area, and you were out there for several hours, or, you know, 24 hours. You know, with water and energy bars, you would stay alert and functioning. And then the proper gear to keep your weapon functioning. They're both important. And people will say, well, I really don't think I need a support network. Uh, you know, I, I think one magazine, maybe a spare magazine in my pocket, and that's all I need. I don't think so. I mean, just look at simple things like uh, your car. Your car is a great tool, but there is a huge support network for your car. People are like, what, what are you talking about? I'm talking about every gas station that exists. I'm talking about every truck driver that transports fuel to that station. I'm talking refineries. I'm talking oil companies that go out and drill for the oil, the refineries that refine it. There is a huge support network that exists to keep your car functioning. How useful would your car be with one, if it came with one tank of gas and after that it didn't work anymore? So I think having that one magazine or a spare magazine in your pocket, no batteries, no, no water, it's like having a car that you can't ever refuel with, with gasoline. It's gonna be great for a while, then it's gonna become a liability. It's gonna be stranded on the side of the road and it's not gonna be an asset to you anymore. Same thing with your weapon. If you don't have support gear to support your weapon, and equally you don't have the gear to support you, i.e. hydration, medications, glasses. I mean, it could be something as simple as you live in, in a desert climate, very hot. Maybe in your support, in your, in your loadout gear, you need suntan oil because you're outside in the sun you're going to be cooked without it and so you'll be ineffective you know if you don't have a hat hydration and suntan lotion it may sound crazy but that's the kind of gear to keep you going and then you need the kind of gear to keep your weapon up and running so i highly recommend guys make a list of what it is they need to keep them running and their and their weapon running and then find some gear to carry the stuff that they need to keep them effective and then train with it. I can't stress that enough. Because some things that look great, um, <laughs> I found out don't work real well in real life. Or you set things up, up and then, okay, there's a conflict with this. This pouch interferes with my sling. This is in the wrong location. I can't reach it. So buying it is not enough. You need to try it. You need to practice with it. But please give it some thought to support equipment. I know the flashlights and the optics are fun, but Tactical nylon, is, I, I think, is, is important. You need some way to support you and your weapon to keep you both functioning. Thanks for watching.